हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज शिवम शर्मा एंड वेलकम टू रविंद्र बाबू रावला प्लेटफॉर्म आई एम बैक विथ यू गाइज विथ एन अमेजिंग जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी फ्रॉम बी ए आर सी भाभा एटोमिक रिसर्च सेंटर एंड दिस जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी इज रिगार्डिंग साइंटिफिक ऑफिसर सी विच इज अ ग्रुप ए ग्रेजुएटेड पोस्ट इन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इट पॉइंट टू पॉइंट इन दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीड इट नो इट अबाउट इट इन डिटेल्स सो यू कैन गेट द ऑफिस लिंक ऑफ द ऑफिशियल नोटिफिकेशन इन आर डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो या the contest will be discussing about training schemes grade paint scale selection process eligibility criteria how to apply qualifying degrees eligible and about online examination training schemes and important dates also and obviously salary also so yeah let's get into it so training schemes uh, there are two types of uh, schemes like training schemes like one is for uh, oces orientation course for engineering graduates and scientific uh, science post graduates and other is for dae department of atomic energy graduate fellowship scheme for engineering graduates so we'll be discussing about both the things like yeah one important thing they have mentioned themselves here in the pdf official notification is that that successful completion of the training schemes guarantees employment as scientific officer see in one of the dae department of atomic energy units or atomic energy regulatory board with attractive career progressions opportunities up to the highest excellence so you you might be the secretary of the government of india like you might be the secretary to the government of india for department of atomic energy down the line 20 30 years later no uh, who knows like they have mentioned it here only so they will be selecting within you guys also only like kind of so yeah so first we will be discuss, discussing about oces recruitment orientation course for engineering graduates and science post graduates this is a one year or orientation course mostly uh, like and there are two training schools bars training schools which are in mumbai and hyderabad mostly for computer science candidates we will be getting trained in the mumbai baba atomic research center only mostly so we will be discussing more about computer science candidates in this video but uh, yeah this is relevant to other people also from other department mostly yeah so there are uh, these are a to l they have mentioned the baba atomic research center bar indira gandhi center for atomic research center igcr kalap kalapakam and other more like atomic mineral directorate and all so they these are the complexes and uh, head office of different different like sections under department of atomic energy only so you might be posted in uh, in one of the offices of this uh, headquarters they mentioned they have different different locations anywhere in india so yeah trainee scientific officer disciplines who successfully complete the training program and whose performance meets the minimum eligibility criteria are allowed to enroll for mtech in homi bhabha national institute hbni so you will be doing your further mtech or uh, like post graduate diploma also uh, one of them they have mentioned like if uh, like uh, your performance is not very exceptionally good so you will be getting pgd from hbni homi bhabha national institute or other you are very good at uh, like we have shown very good performance so you will be getting mtech degree from there so yeah hmm. in, in the next slide we will be discussing about DA graduate fellowship scheme for engineering graduates so mostly two year DA graduate fellowship schemes for engineering graduates for the academic season is 2025 so you will be doing your mtech from some selected institutes like iit bombay iit madras and all uh, in certain specializations and you will be obviously i i told you earlier also you will be getting posted as a group a gazetteer officer to the government of india so like you will be getting the same salary IAS officers or IAS office IPS officers get in India level ten, level ten you are getting. You will be posted as a group executive officer. It's an amazing opportunity, and and you you will be love to know that. Uh, many of times further in later in your career you will be directly reporting to the Prime Minister of India. You are getting directly reporting to the Prime Minister of India. Think about it. So yeah. stipend and allowances we will be discussing about oces trainee scientific officers are paid a stipend of 74000 per month initially early it was like previous it, it was 65000 so previous only they increase they like increased it to 74000 per month and one time book allowances you will be getting 30000 contingency grant of 60000 per annum for 2 years 
to meet your mtech project related expenses and kind of things and you will also be getting some additional fund of 4 lakh up, up to 4 lakh around from brns fast track project scheme they they will mention it like they will tell you further these details also and you will have to stay in the de hostel only they have mentioned and apart from that yeah like let's discuss about salary which is very lucrative so appointment in all the units shall be a scientific officer see i mentioned you and in the level 10 56100 basic which is basic of the seventh central pay commission of india so you will be uh, you will be, uh, your basic will be 56100 which is exactly equal to ias ips and other group executive officers of india so getting so after calculating each and everything you will be getting around initially you will be getting after posted posting you will be getting around 134000 per month 134000 per month and during the training only you will be uh, like after after uh, showing your good performance you will get two three or four increments also during the training only in addition such uh, some other allowances are there so we calculated it to 130 they already calculated it to 130 134000 per month around and obviously some uh, health services schemes also contributory health services schemes same as central government you are group executive officer you will be becoming group executive officer so you'll be getting all the facilities of uh, like an IAS officer mostly get so about selection process you will be getting selected in three different ways they will screen out you in three different ways first on the basis of online examination like the examination will be held in conducted in march 2025 and uh, you need to register it we will discuss uh, point to point in the video only and other will be like on the basis of gate score candidates who meet the all eligibility criteria mentioned in section 4 here we will discuss about it further so gate 23 candidates gate 24 candidates and gate 2025 candidates all of the three are eligible so if you are get if you are paying for gate 25 also so don't worry about it that uh, you need to submit your rank card only you didn't even appear for the exam nah? so while you will be appearing and 19th of march is the result of gate so they have mentioned in the notification only that 17th of march to 25th of march they will be opening the portal again so that you can upload your scorecard gate scorecard uh, in the website in their website so no need to worry about it if you are finally a candidate also so you can apply here they have told you you are eligible and apart from that uh, one more criteria is there based on cbs nisr score cgp means so this is particular university so they will be taking from there so this is not for computer science candidates so we will not be dealing in details for this third one recruitment so yeah so we'll be discussing uh, we, we discussed about this online examination and based on the gate, gate score and further one point to note you need to apply for like uh, like you will you need to apply for both the ways like uh, you'll be selecting both the ways online examination also and for gate score also this way you will increase your probability to get getting screened in getting shortlisted so the, you need to uh, you need to notice this point so first uh, the shortlisted candidate uh, which is getting screened in will be called for selection interview so two two things will be there first you will be getting selected like screening screening in and later the shortlisted candidate will be forward for selection interview and after selection interview you will be finally posted as a medical test or their normal things so no further more examination you will be posted as group executive officer just after getting trained eligibility criteria is there so we'll be discussing about listen so me CA chemical and uh, these all uh, departments so cs is eligible here uh, you you are from b btech uh, bsc engineering or five years integrated mtech course b uh, btech and mtech course so you're eligible minimum 60 percent of the aggregate marks they've mentioned or six cgpa and apart from that get i told get 23 24 25 candidates are eligible and there are some list of branches they mentioned in this clause three those having qualifying degree in branches like this 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 all branches you, if you are from these branches you are not eligible they have mentioned here clearly like are not eligible so if you are from these branches so sorry to say they have they have already told that you are not eligible apart from that there are there are eight engineering disciplines they have mentioned which are eligible like these all you guys are if you are properly from these disciplines you are eligible age limit maximum age limit for general category will be 26 years 
and uh, respectively for other reserve categories also you can go and read obc 29 years sc 31 years and all uh, nationality obviously indian application fee will be only 500 rupees letter will be how to apply this is like you need to apply online and they have provided here the link also Th these are some formats like this size of photograph document and all you need to read this uh, entire notification about this we'll just discuss point to point about the main main points we, we 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 are here just to update you guys and giving you the crisp like important points about the notification so that you can decide whether to apply or not so definitely you should apply for this one strong recommendation so yeah process instruction the same thing about online exams so if you want me to uh, create a new video about uh, strategy for the BAS examination so in that we will be discussing about the online examination syllabus pattern and all the things native marking and all the things if you want it to make if you want me to make that video so please do comment in the comment section so that uh, we, we would love to make that video for you guys so that that will be very helpful for you if you want it to uh, if you want me to make it so please do comment bark mumbai training school com for computer science this will be in bark mumbai and orientation training for engineering design development operation and maintenance of nuclear reactors so you will be getting trained in this mostly hmm, this is important important dates so last date for registration for online application is 26th of january this month only 26th of january correction window from window from 7th of feb to 14th of feb so yeah here i told you admit card you will be getting till uh, from 25th of february 25 only online examination is in note notice this point 8th and 9th of march your examination is there this year only 8th and 9th of march so just two months later and uh, yeah i told you know 17th of march to 25 or uh, 24th of march load of gate score 25 if you are applying this year and apart from that your uh, like in selection interview will be from 19th of may to 30th of june so this will be in mumbai for uh, mostly computer science candidates only in mumbai and yeah final selected candidates for last week june and you will be like you will be posted you will your training will commence from 1st of august 2025 these are some medical test dates and all you can go and read it details maximum age limit will be 26 years if these are examination cities which you need to select you can read it so yeah thank you guys this is an amazing job opportunity from BARC Bhabha Atomic Research Center for Scientific Officer C and uh, the salary is also lucrative and the career growth you will uh, get is immense, very great. You can be the secretary to the government of India for Department of Atomic Energy. So wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.